thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, coming to the conference this morning. The situation is that about uh, about 2:30 a.m. this morning, police were notified of the location of a deceased male on Hooker Boulevard at Broad Beach Waters, in between Sunshine Boulevard and Rio Vista Boulevard. Uh, police attended. They have located um, a 36-year-old deceased male. Um, indications are that the person uh, has sustained a, uh, a gunshot wound and, uh, and subsequently deceased. Um, inquiries have identified the victim at this point uh, and uh, investigations continuing at the moment in order to, to um, locate his next of kin and identify his last movements. We would be seeking the assistance of the public or any members of the public who were in the vicinity of Hooker Boulevard between Rio Vista Boulevard and Sunshine Boulevard between uh, about um, 2 a.m. and 2.30 a.m. who may have seen anything suspicious or heard anything suspicious or in fact any person who may have travelled the whole length of Hooker Boulevard in the early hours of the morning who may have again seen anything suspicious or in particular saw a male person walking along the road, male person uh, wearing a um, light blue hooded jacket and light grey jeans. Is that, is that the deceased? Person? Yes. You mentioned uh, he had what, just, just, just the one gunshot wound? Um, <coughs> what we can say at this stage is that in indications are that uh, he has sustained uh, a gunshot wound. Uh, we can't speculate at this stage on how many until the post-mortem is conducted. Where is the gunshot wound? Uh, it's to the torso. From the front? No, um, I don't want to particularise exactly where it is at this point, but it's, uh, it's to the torso. It's certainly not three shots to the back, as the media have been reporting. Do you know that there was more than one shot fired? Are there multiple shell casings there? We have located a number of um, uh, ejected cartridge cases at the scene, but the... Um, a search of the area is still being conducted as we speak. Does that indicate a semi-automatic weapon being used? Uh, our ballistics uh, specialists are at the scene. Mm -hmm. They are examining the uh, the ejected cartridge cases and uh, they will be able to determine the type of weapon used. But at this point in time, I'm not prepared to um, enlarge on that at this stage. Do you think he was um, walking along the road and shot or was he trying out of a car? Or, or We don't know. Is the victim known to police? Uh, he, he has um, he is has been known to police, um, but at this stage, as I say, inquiries are continuing to uh, um, identify his uh, full background, his movements. Any links to bikey gangs, or perhaps? At this point in time, we haven't identified any link to any OMCGs. And. Uh do you think it was a premeditated thing or was it random from, from pre preliminary investigations? I don't know. Where exactly was his body found? Uh, the body was located um, on the um, left side of the road as you are heading uh, away from Broad Beach, uh, on Hooker Boulevard, um, at the intersection with Cocos Drive, I think it is. So on the main arterial road, the body was lying on the road? You've got the main Hooker Boulevard and you've got an intersection. The intersection is, uh, is a minor road and as you turn left into that minor road it's basically just on that centre of that intersection there. But it was actually on the, on on the, the bitumen, bitumen on the road? Yes, yes. So is it possible that there could have been cars driving past and not on along Hooker Boulevard and not seen the body? Or oh, I think anybody driving along would have seen it and in fact the police were notified by a security officer who came across the body and obviously initial thoughts were that the person had possibly been hit by a car. Are you looking at links to any other recent violent crimes? Uh, in, in this one? Well, in any uh, investigation of this kind, we would look for any links with other offences. It's certainly um, too early to say in relation to this, uh, this matter at this time. Uh, we're in the early stages. And um, as I say, we've only uh, just recently identified the victim and uh, inquiries are being undertaken now in order to identify his movements. The victim was from there, from that area? The victim, um, well, inquiries are still, in, are still continuing in relation to his history. Uh, we do know that he has um, resided on the Gold Coast, but um, we can't be specific at this stage as to where he resides. Did witnesses hear any yelling? Was there any... 
anything precipitating the shooting? No. Any reports of gunshots being heard? Uh, we've we've um, conducted door knocks of the area and we have located some people who heard what they believe were gunshots around about the 2.20 to 2.30 a.m. How many gunshots did they hear? Uh, well, that varies at this stage, so inquiries are still continuing. Statements are being obtained from those people, so we'll try to narrow that down. Will this be a, a case for task force resolve? Uh, the investigation is currently being undertaken by detectives from our Southern Investigative Group and uh, they are being assisted by officers from the Homicide Investigation Group and Task Force Resolve. Just on Task Force Resolve, I know if we've got a hand in this one as well, I remember when they were formed that there was eight serious crimes they were investigating. Um, is this now bringing it up to 11, do you know? No, no, this is, uh, as I say, this matter is being investigated by the Southern Investigative Group and they're being supported at this point by Task Force Resolve. Thoughts on um, another gun crime on the coast, Dave? Sorry? Thoughts on another gun crime on the coast? Is it We're obviously concerned about any incident um, that involves a firearm. Um, we obviously treat these matters very seriously and we put a lot of efforts and a lot of resources into investigating not only these matters but also anything in relation to uh, unlicensed firearms. Is it too easy to get an unlicensed firearm? I mean, is it, it, it would appear that there are... Uh, well, I can't comment on how easy it is, but uh, obviously we've had a number of incidents involving uh, firearms. Uh, we are actively investigating those and uh, as you're probably aware, that we, um, we executed a search warrant yesterday and recovered quite a number of illegal guns yesterday afternoon. So the police are constantly um, uh, following these matters up, constantly in, um, conducting investigations in relation to firearms and uh, we are having some successes. Dave, including uh, Damien Leading's uh, death, this is the, the third fatal shooting. Um, have you ever seen this level of violence on the Gold Coast before? Well I've only been on the Gold Coast for, for a number of years. Uh, certainly any shooting um, whether it's on the Gold Coast or otherwise is, uh, is not acceptable. Um, we treat all shootings um, seriously, whether they're fatal or otherwise. Certainly a lot of resources will go into this investigation. Uh, as I say, we're being supported by the Homicide Investigation Group and Task Force Resolve. And um, uh, we hope to uh, have this matter finalised as soon as possible. How concerned are you about this, this, the escalation in, in this kind of... Crime. Any offence involving a firearm is of concern to the police and that's why we put so many resources into it. Is there any indication this is a drive-by shooting? No, we don't know at this stage. As I say, it's early days. Uh, all we have at the moment is uh, a deceased male person lying on the road. How did you um, identify uh, Just through normal police um, procedures. Is he well known to police? Or? No. Did he have ID on him and a wallet on him? Um, I don't want to talk about what he had on him. Yeah. Residents around that area are saying that they're shocked by the crime and, and some of them are scared. Um, do they have reason to be scared that there might be somebody out on the list that is a threat to them? Well, I don't think so. Um, it, it's very difficult to say at this stage as to what the motive was for this particular offence. You know, we have had a number of shootings, as you're well aware. Um, the shootings are generally between specific groups of people. You know, it's generally not involving the average member of the public. It's generally involving uh, specific groups of people or domestic related. You know, every day we have thousands and thousands of people attend the Gold Coast and uh, they, they come for the day and they leave without being confronted by any crime whatsoever. So I would reassure the public that, uh, you know, the, the average member of the public shouldn't be concerned. Uh, and we are putting as many resources as we can, obviously, into finalising this matter. Was the man found dead? Was he armed? No. Those weapons you found yesterday in that raid, can you just elaborate on that one, where that was and what you actually found? Uh, I don't have the details actually with me at the moment, but I know that they recovered um, um, handguns and, uh, and a shotgun and drugs. How many guns were found? Three, I think. The man's uh, criminal history, is it extensive? Um, no. And what is it for? Oh, I don't want to go into into the actual details of it, but it's not extensive. No. And he's not linked to any known sort of outlaw gang. Body. Keep in mind that this is very early in the in the piece. You know, we've um, uh, the the scene itself is still being investigated, and the police are, are only just as we speak moving back to the major incident room to to conduct further investigation. So, um, 
we can't be sure at this stage as to what the motive is or, or so who his associates are or, or anything at this point in time. Uh, that will evolve throughout the day. Do you have any security footage? Uh, that's, that's a part of our normal investigation, would be to gather security footage from every available source, and that's being done now. Do you know roughly how many detectives are working on it all, uh, all up, um, Dave? Um, look, uh, it'll, it'll probably increase throughout the day, and it will depend on, um, on how the investigation evolves. But probably as of this morning, we would have had um, probably 15. His associates, are they known to the police? Uh, we haven't got to that point yet of is identifying Hydra all the associates. Involved? Sorry. Is Hydra involved? Um, no, not at this point. Those weapons that were recovered yesterday, I just in regards to what I mentioned before about obtaining illegal firearms on the Gold Coast. How did you find those ones yesterday? It was during a raid in, in Service Paradise, and I used to, you didn't have much of the details, but firearms and a shotgun. Yeah. All legal. Well, as I say, the, the police on the Gold Coast are constantly um, investigating and following up information in relation to information of criminals having guns. And uh, this was just another one of those investigations that the, uh, the police have followed through, um, identified the suspects, executed a search warrant and recovered the guns. Do you think that what we're seeing at the moment is a, is a spike in gun crimes or is it a trend, a, a trend that's sort of emerging of, on the Gold Coast? I don't know whether it's actually a spike in, in, in with uh, with guns, but uh, you know we've certainly had our fair share in recent times of serious offences involving guns. Um, it's not only only on the Gold Coast; obviously, it occurs in other places. But uh, as far as we're concerned, even one offence involving a gun is one too many. So we're happy to put as many resources into it as we possibly can. Is it fair to say, Dave, that given the three weapons recovered yesterday and the one in the drain pipe at Rabina on Monday, the police have recovered four? illegal weapons this week? Well, that's correct, yes. Mm. There's no suggested link to that, to, to the tavern incident? Uh, no. Yeah. As more shootings happen on the Gold Coast, do you think there's more demand for police? That's sort of an open-ended question, you know. Um, you know, we, we've, uh, we've had a significant increase in the number of police on the Gold Coast in recent times, including uh, detectives. So, um, nevertheless, these incidents still occur, so... Dave, there was figures come out yesterday that the funding on the Gold Coast is reduced by 10%. Does that affect his leasing levels? I don't want to talk about budgets, obviously, and uh, staffing issues. Um, we're here to talk about this particular job. And, um, and as I say, we've, uh, we've got sufficient resources at this point to manage this job. How are you going to stop these uh, guns on? Well... You know, it's probably fair to say that uh, these things, these types of uh, offences are going to happen in the future. They've happened in the past and they'll continue to occur. We will continue to respond to them. We will put all, all uh, our resources into, um, into investigating them as they occur and uh, we've had significant success in the past and we hope to do so in the future. Do you know what this man was doing on Hooker Boulevard no. at 2 in the morning? No. And I would ask the media to... You know, you're asking lots of questions here, which is fine, but I would ask you to reinforce that assistance to the public or that, that request for assistance from the public. Um, we are particularly interested um, in anybody that was um, on Hooker Boulevard in the early hours of the morning, the whole length of Hooker Boulevard, who may have seen this person walking down the road, description being a male, 36 years, wearing a light blue um, hooded jacket and light grey jeans or particularly in relation to that area between Sunshine Boulevard and Rio Vista Boulevard. Uh, as it stands at the moment, we, we merely have a, um, uh, a body located on the road. We would seek the assistance of anybody who saw him prior to the offence occurring or saw anything suspicious or heard anything suspicious. Are you looking for any specific type of car or other person? Not at this time. Are there any sort of leads that you've, you've, you've got at the moment that you've better showing any signs of promise, Dave? Well, no, well, early days, as I say, it's, uh, it's still very early days, and um, as we speak, the detectives are, g are gathering in the major incident room and uh, will be following up. One, now, now he's been identified, that'll give us some areas to start looking. Is it possible he was forced out of the car? Like okay, he may possible. have been travelling with people? Anything possible. At the moment, um, we, we haven't notified next to kin, so um, for the moment, 
we're concentrating on identifying his uh, residence, identifying his movements, identifying his next to kin. Do you know what suburb he was from? Well, as I said earlier, we, we can't yeah. categorically say at this stage where he's living. We have some ideas, but uh, we need to follow that through, and I can't speculate on that. So. Do you think he'd be able to release any name later in the day? Or? Uh, that's possible, yeah. It'll depend on just next to kin and just how the investigation goes.